Praise the Lord, precious saints, and welcome to another daily prophetic utterance to start your day. And welcome to day two of 21 days of prayer and fasting for this July as we pray for the end time revival. Somebody say hallelujah. But today I want to read from Galatians 4 verses 28 to 31. Now we brethren, as Isaac was a child of promise, but as he who was born according to the flesh, then persecuted him who was born according to the spirit. Even so it is now, nevertheless, what does the scripture say? Cast out the bondwoman and her son, for the son of the bondwoman shall be heir with the son of the free woman. So then, brethren, we are not children of the bondwoman, but are of the free. Somebody say hallelujah. So we see that in the days of Hagar and Sarah, there was a collusion, a faithless collusion of coming together, conspiring to bring about a promise that wasn't God's fulfillment. They were trying to do it in the flesh. And we see that now this is attacking the promise that was birthed in the spirit by God. So we see that that is what happens with us precious saints because the apostle Paul is speaking to the Galatians and he's saying, hey, be careful of those heretics in Jerusalem that would put unnecessary burdens upon you, would have put unnecessary laws upon you to fulfill that you cannot do, you cannot fulfill. Remember, you are free through Christ Jesus. Now, those who do not understand the way of the Spirit and who do not recognize the gift of the Spirit have criticized and sometimes even harassed those who live by the Spirit. Have you noticed that? There are some that start off in the spirit, but they finish in the flesh. And it normally happens that the previous move of God will always persecute the new move of God. And that's what we see. When we see ministries like the Salvation Army, we see the Methodists, we see all these churches, they started in the spirit, but they may finish in the flesh. And I'm sure if John Wesley, or I'm sure if other people that came like Catherine and William Booth, if they were to see the Salvation Army today, that they wouldn't be so happy with what it's become because it's gone away from its foundational led and birthed by the Holy Spirit. See, when, a, when the Holy Spirit comes and revival comes, it must be initiated in prayer and sustained in prayer, precious saints. We need to start in the Spirit and finish in the spirit. And so it is with those that will criticize. The religious people will criticize the move of God to come. And so it was, we see that Paul is telling and warning the Galatians, hey, be careful of those religious people. They'll try to put unnecessary things upon you to stop you from living in freedom. So this opposition was true in Paul's day, and it can also be true in our day. However, the promise gift of the Holy Spirit doesn't come through law keeping. Rather, the Spirit is a gift from Jesus to those who believe in him and who are what? Obedient. Obedient to what God says. According to the word of God, it says in Acts 5 verse 32, and we are his witness to these things. And so also is the Holy Spirit whom God has given to those who obey him. When we obey God, when we obey his word, when we become not just hearers, but we become doers of the word of God, the Holy Spirit moves on our behalf. As you are obedient, as the as the clarion call is going out to the nations to pray for the end time revival. This is a Kairos moment for the church of Jesus Christ. Many don't understand. An actual fact is when you're moved by the spirit, those that are moved by the flesh will not understand what you're talking about. And therefore, when their clarion call comes to the church of Jesus Christ, pray now because we are in the end times and the Lord is about to come and snatch away his bride, those warnings should not be 
overlooked, but rather taken very seriously. We are in the end times and God is saying for us as the church of Jesus Christ to pray that God would have mercy, that he would send revival within these end times. We need to pray at this hour. We need to push in and believe. Just as I told you before, in the year that was crossing over from 22 to 23, the Lord said to me, you have two years to go and occupy and try to go and tell as many people because in 2025 and beyond, it will become more difficult for you to travel because they will start to put restrictions. There'll be certain things happening around the world that will try to limit. That's their plan. That's the enemy's agenda. But God said, if you go and keep, keep going, tell the church to awaken from their slumber. Tell the church I'm coming back soon. Tell the church it's now time for revival to seek me that I will send this end time revival. I believe it's coming soon, precious saints. But it's up to us as the church of Jesus Christ to pray and believe. We're sick of church progress. We're sick of religion. It's not going to save us. We need a mighty move of God in this end time hour to prepare the bride of Christ that it will be clean and spotless for that day. I don't know about you, but it's time for us to press in and believe that God is about to do what he says. It's really that simple. Obedience is better than sacrifice, precious says. It's that simple. Believe in the Lord Jesus Christ and you and your household should also be saved. It's time for revival to come to you. It's time for revival to come to your family. It's time for the revival to come to the church of Jesus Christ to awaken from their slumber and start to get out there and do what it's called to do. We can only fulfill the Great Commission with the help of the Holy Spirit. Let us partner with the Holy Spirit so the Holy Spirit can take over within this hour. So Heavenly Father, we thank you for the gift of the Holy Spirit. We believe in Jesus and we believe in the promise to have Jesus that would also send your spirit to his followers. I pray, Lord Jesus, that you also had promised us the gift of the Holy Spirit, but also that revival would come in this end time hours. Lord, I pray for each person as they are pushing in, as they are putting aside their prayer list to believe God is going to answer them, as they are pushing in, believing in the higher calling, believing in the greater calling and the commissioning of revival to come to the church of Jesus Christ to fulfill and to snatch in the end time harvest of the Lord. I pray, Lord, that you will bless each person that is participating may they also do the bible studies go through the revival uh stories to inspire them and also stir up their faith may they pray through the prayer points and believe in a greater thing to come may they also gather their families and friends and families and churches and whoever it is workplaces to also join together to believe that god will come in a greater way. May the Lord bless each person by partaking. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. This is Pastor Robert Clancy coming to you from the prayer mountain. It is time to catch the fire of repentance revival as we prepare for the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. Shalom, shalom, shalom. And if you've liked this uh, utterance today, forward it to someone today. It is never too late to join the 21 days of fasting. You can find the program there. It is broken up in two parts if you're going onto the website. Otherwise, you can download the app also and you can find it there. It's a lot more easier to read. Or if you're on one of the WhatsApp groups, we have the PDF file with the whole complete thing on there. And it's also much also easier for you. And if you haven't already, can you go to our website and go down to the bottom of the opening page and I just want you to subscribe uh, subscribe so that you can receive this on your email also as a confirmation uh, so I just encourage you to do that now but may the Lord bless you from my family to yours God bless you we love you we are praying for you precious saints shalom 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 <laughs>